Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Chen Nian from the University of California at Riverside. Uh, today, I use classical density function theory to study the uh, surface reaction, solvent homogeneity, and ion transport in electrode double layers. Uh, as we know, ions in your charged surface uh, will form uh, electrode double layers. And for electrode double layer, uh, electrode double layer capacitor, or sometimes we call uh, super, super capacitor, the porous electrode will adsorb the ions and form, uh, form electrode double layer in the store energy. As we know, the super capacitor has a high power and low energy. So our goal is to Im Im improve the energy. As we know, energy is related to uh, capacitance and the potential window. Uh, so by increasing capacitance and the uh, potential window, we can get more energy. So uh, here we use classical density functional theory, uh, or uh, we call uh, classical DFT, to, get, uh, to study the super capacitor. Uh, here I briefly introduce uh, uh, classical DFT. The first equation, is uh, the Euler Lagrange equation from uh, classical DFT. Uh, with all the red terms uh, uh, in the right side, it's a Boltzmann uh, equation, which is for ideal case uh, system. But for real system, uh, the molecules or ions has, uh, have signs and volume. Um, and there are interaction between ions or molecules. So here we include the uh, volume effect and the uh, electro correlation. The X is the external potential uh, between the ions and the electrode. The second equation is a, a Boltzmann equation. Without this term, uh, this is a famous Boltzmann, uh, Poisson Boltzmann equation. Uh, so here we use DFT, we can get the ionic density profile near the surface. And we can then we can get the surface charge density and the cap capacitance. Uh, here are some provided results uh, uh, from our classical DFT calculation. Uh, the the comp capacitance shows oscilla show an oscillation as the increase of pore size. And when the, uh, when the pore size is below one nanometer, the capacitance is very high. And when the pore size is very large, very large the capacitance remain, almost remains the same. And there, uh, how to explain this oscillation of capacitance? Uh, we can explain uh, the Overlap of electro WR from uh, both side, both electro, uh, both surface. So here is the oscillation. Um, this result is similar, so, uh, similar to uh, MD simulation. Compared to uh, classical DFT, MD simulation is uh, uh, much slow and uh, um, expensive. Uh, here, both uh, classical DFT calculation and uh, MD simulation only consider a slit poor model to describe the porism carbon material. But for real carbon material, there are many effects like a pore size effect, a coverage effect, and the geometry effect. So it's necessary to, uh, for us to consider the, uh, those effects. Uh, here we developed a new model, a severe shear model, to describe the, uh, those effects. Uh, figure A is a, is a setup of a super capacitor, uh, the negative, uh, negative and positive electrode. Uh, figure B are details inside the porous uh, electrode. And figure C is our model. The white shell is the pore, and we can change the inside radius uh, to describe the coverage effect. Uh, so with this model, we can consider the capacitance, uh, the coverage and pore size effect on comp comp capacitance. Uh, when the uh, inner uh, in core radio is very large, uh, it, means, uh, it means the coverage is zero. Uh, it's, uh, the, the pore can be treated as a slit pore. You know, the peak nine in this feature, uh, figure is uh, almost, the same, uh, same, uh, almost the same to our previous non-pore calculation. And you know, it's increasing of, uh, it's a decreasing of uh, inside, uh, inside the core uh, radios, the coverage increase. And uh, we find the competitors will increase. And, uh, also, and uh, another interesting is the oscillation of the competitors will also be enhanced. Uh, so how to explain this? Uh, uh, the oscillation is also, uh, is also can be explained by the overlap of electro WR between two interfaces. And, uh, and from our calculation, we find uh, 
uh, the large curvature will make more cone ion inside into the pore, you know, uh, less cone ion in, in, uh, in a more cone ion outside the pore. So uh, this uh, reduces the re, uh, re, uh, results in large competence. In, uh, we can find the uh, curvature will double the competence. So it's a good use for design um, silver capacitors. Another, another topic uh, uh, is uh, the flow effect on uh, electrode double layer. As we know in some real application, uh, solvent flow over the uh, over surface. Uh, can, uh, so uh, can water molecule and ice near the surface uh, be perturbed by the uh, solvent flow? And another question is uh, how does the flow affect the surface reaction? Uh, next year, uh, experimental results uh, report, uh, report the flow effect on in the facial reaction. They use the SFT uh, signal to detect the water structure near the surface. Uh, they find, uh, again, uh, I briefly introduced the SFT uh, signal for water. The SFT intensity is related to water structure near the surface. When the orientations of water is almost the same, SFT intensity is very high. And the orientations of water is different, the SFT uh, intensity is low. So they find that the flow will decrease the SFG intensity. Will decrease, you know, they explain that the, flow, the solvent flow over the surface will change the reaction, surface reaction in you know, the water structure. So uh, how to explain why the, uh, why, why the surface reaction will change the water, uh, orientation of water or water structure near the surface? And this here is the question. We, how to model this process and explain this uh, experimental res results? Uh, our model covers uh, in actual double surface reaction in a flow, uh, flow effect. We all use the classical DFT, classical DFT to get the ionic density profile near the surface. And we use the Navis Stokes equation to get the flow effect. And we also consider the uh, chemical reaction kinetics, as we know. Uh, chemical reaction kinetics is very complicated, even for simple surface, uh, like a silica surface. Uh, here are two major uh, reactions near the silica surface uh, from different reference. Uh, there are many details to get the red of a reaction and the black balance. But finally, we, we can get the relationship between surface charge density and the surface potential. With this model, we can, we, can find, we can find the flow effect on the surface charge of silica surface. As in the, the surface, uh, surface charge will decrease uh, as the increasing of uh, uh, flowing velocity. When the pressure is very low, it almost has no effect on the surface charge. And when the pressure is, uh, is, is, is large, uh, the, the surface charge will decrease to zero. So uh, from this result, we find the uh, flow, when the flow is a lot, uh, when, when the pressure is not, a, not a very large, uh, the flow has no effect on the surface reaction. Uh, next, uh, we, we talk, uh, yes, the uh, surface charge of the surface uh, change. Uh, the structure of uh, cone ion and anion and water near the surface uh, will also change. Uh, here the uh, density profile of uh, uh, cone ion and anion near the surface. Uh, uh, from this picture, we can find uh, the, the flow will decrease the amount of uh, cone ion near the surface. You know, the cone ion almost remains the same. Uh, and how about the water structure? So uh, we can explain the surface charge, surface charge changes in you know, the water structure near the surface or the change. We can explain the uh, experimental results. And next, uh, we uh, will discuss the flow effect on uh, surface charge density on the different pH condition. Uh, without the flow, uh, the shear rate is zero. Uh, the black line, the black line is the uh, surface charge density will increase with the uh, increase of pH, which is well agreed with the experimental results, uh, which uh, uh, means our, expand, uh, our model is uh, uh, reasonable. And with the flow, uh, the surface charge will decrease uh, decrease to uh, decrease for all pH. 
And when the pH is uh, low, uh, for example, uh, the pH is 3, the surface charge is almost zero. So the flow has no effect on the charge. And uh, the water structure uh, don't change. Uh, we can uh, see the experimental results uh, from uh, figure B. Uh, the SFG intensity almost uh, remains the same. And for medium pH, that for, for medium, like, like uh, uh, 6.5, the surface charge changes of uh, 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 the change of surface charge is above and uh, so the water structure or SFG intensity uh, is change, changes above uh, from Figure A. Mm. However, for a uh, high pH, uh, the surface charge is very high. Uh, from our calculation, we find uh, the water structure uh, from our uh, class DFT collection or MD simulation. We find that the water structure is not sensitive to uh, surface charge uh, so that, uh, to the change of surface charge uh, when the surface charge is very high. Uh, so, uh, so the change of uh, water structure or SFG intensity uh, for high pH is not as large as uh, pH, uh, me for media pH, even the scale is different. Uh, so we can uh, explain the experimental results. And then uh, we can, uh, the most interesting part, I think, is uh, we can use this model to calculate the streaming current. Uh, in traditional theory or uh, conventional experimental results, uh, the streaming current is uh, linear to a pressure drop. Uh, but in our calculation, we find uh, uh, this, this linear relationship is also uh, we, uh, we can get the linear uh, linear relationship when the pressure is uh, is is low. And when the pressure is very big, uh, it shows a non-linear relationship. Uh, it, this is because the flow uh, the flow will affect the surface charge uh, will will change the, will change the rate of uh, surface reaction and change the uh, zeta potential in the surface charge of the surface. Uh, so we can get this uh, non-linear relationship. Uh, okay, here is my conclusion. Um, the very sure model is developed to describe the coverage effect and the pore size effect. We can find the pore with a large coverage will give a large competence. Uh, and the second, uh, the flow effect on the surface reaction in nanopore can be quantitatively uh, described by uh, classical DFT plus navy stokes equation and uh, uh, chemical kinetics. And the next uh, flowing over the surface can change the rate of uh, uh, chemical reaction and then change the surface charge, uh, surface charge in the, the water structure and the uh, ion structure in the surface will change. Uh, and last, uh, um, nonlinear streaming current is particular when the surface reaction are perturbed by a flowing solvent. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, our mod the concentration effect. Yeah, like how, how, what, uh, what would you call the difference between the concentration effect, like the sample of these three and the sample of those three? I can't, I can't understand. Uh, what property of the fluid are input to your model? What parameter of the fluid are input to your input to your model? Okay, I know. Sorry. Uh, here, here is the model. Uh, we we input the concentration of the solvent uh, in the, the in the surface potential. We can uh, with surface potential. We can uh, w with surface potential. We uh, we input the uh, concentration or den buckle density, and we can get the um, surface potential. So, so that's the fluid density. Right? Yeah. Is it, is it 
Okay, uh, because the ion liquid uh, concentration is very high, and uh, it will form layer by layer structure in the uh, nanopore. Uh, so, if we change the uh, the nanopore or uh, the pore size, the layer layer structure will be uh, will be changed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 